Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. My name is Joel Duggan and we are hanging out here in the spawn chunks on the Citadel server. A little over seven years old on this server and we are retrofitting the server iron farm and we have been doing so over the last couple weeks. We've got it uh, working properly, we just need to finish the decoration which is what we're going to pick up on where we left off today. And uh, I'm really excited to get rid of this ugly sandstone platform that's up there. Uh, what we're doing is going to be using some of this copper piping ideas that we have down here and applying it to the um, the sides. So if we take a trip up top, you'll see I've got some cool design things happening on the side and wrapping around the back. <clears throat> we need to do the same thing on the other side. Sort of started, but it needs to be obviously... Uh, tweaked a little bit uh, you can see the difference here is that these are flush with the pillars and these are not so we need to bring these out a little bit and maybe uh, do the same sort of thing we have along here uh, I also am thinking about getting rid of this green column thing uh, I feel like it might be cooler to have just the um, the golems fall but we'll see we'll see what we can, we can get up to Mind Trip Media kicking off the stream with 100 bits as per usual. Thanks so much for the support, Mind Trip. Appreciate it. So our inventory is empty. What are we going to need while we're up there? Let's just stick a flight up and see what's shaking. I'm going to need some leaf blocks to help with the spawning. Right now we're using buttons, but I'd like to use some leaf blocks. So obviously we need copper, acacia, Copper trap doors, some wax, probably some moss, moss carpet, and azalea. And that might be it. At least for now. I guess I'll probably bring some dark oak with us. Where did that go? I feel like I should have more of that. Uh, copper. Copper trapdoors. I can probably use that too. I don't think we have any use for copper grates. I never thought about that. That could be kind of cool, because you can waterlog copper grates, too. Definitely going to need more stripped acacia. And I don't think we'll need a bucket, but we'll bring one anyway. And leaves. I feel like that should be everything. Uh, Trapdoors for spruce. We should be able to use those, but I'll bring some more anyway. Oh, I don't have any. All the more reason to make more. So the way that this is working, we've got 
this top one kind of coming down and looping up and around and back up to the top again, which doesn't make a lot of sense, but it is what it is. Um, I could have that go in there and have this one loop up taller. That could be cool. Although I like the distance there. And then over here, what I think I want to do is have this one here in the middle will come down. And then maybe so will that one. One of them just kind of goes nowhere. And I think we'll do that with that one. That one will probably stay right where it is. Or we could do it with that one, I guess. Sometimes it's better to just get in there and scaffolding is the one thing that I knew I was going to need and I forgot to bring with me. <clears throat> the Mighty Elkhorn. Hello, hello. Looking very steampunk. Thanks. Yeah, I appreciate that. <clears throat> this is very cool. The fact that you can hear it and see it. I quite like that. I wish there was a better way to have more steam. I think I might try to hide a campfire and put like a grate maybe here could be cool. I'm not sure about that position, but certainly we could do it like over here would be cool. I guess it just depends on what kind of room we have underneath because all obviously that's all uh the collection system didn't bring any slabs uh, i guess grab this one I didn't bring any wax either. So that was just boarded up with the the <clears throat> the dark oak. I guess we could do for now. I think what I did was I replaced these with the trapdoors. Yeah. I'm going to double check to make sure that's what I did on this other side. Yeah, okay. So there's one, two, I guess there's three levels. Right, because those are on the outside as well. Because that helps with the spawn proofing. I guess what I could do here is I could double up 
on the acacia trapdoors if I wanted to be able to see the blue inside all the time. We could try that. Oh no, that... Duh. No, I think that probably has to be a solid block on the inside. I just don't want to risk anything. Is that how I did that? Yeah. Ah, here is the problem. And this is why you gotta keep everything spawn proof. But that's good because at least the farm won't be running while we're waiting. Oh, wait a minute. This would be a copper pipe, wouldn't it? Right. And then those are covering up that, but I have to move it. Because that's only two levels. I think I have three. Could you put glass behind the trap door? 100% Alcorn, I probably could. Good idea, actually. Yeah, so these are on the block space there. The difference is on the other side, there's, um, well, I guess we've got this glass here. I should go get some brown glass from down below. Brown glass and beeswax, or honeycomb, rather. Brown glass? Nope. How can you make a podcast on Spotify, Justin Beast? Uh, you can make a podcast on your own. You don't need Spotify. Uh, we use Acast, and I would actually recommend Acast as a really good hosting platform. Because then you don't need a website. You don't need um, anything else, really. You can just um, straight up publish your show on Acast and then tell Acast to send it to the other major podcasting providers. All right, so over there, I think that might be a spawning space, but it's just not big enough for a golem. So I've made some mistakes over there, I think, because the trap doors are actually in this space here. Yeah, they're inside there. And then it's acacia trapdoors at the top. But this is out farther. That's why it's throwing me off.
Acast is free. Yeah, you only have to pay for it if you want to advertise with them. Are the trapdoors at the top in the same space or not? They are. Yes, they are out this way and they've got leaves behind them. Okay. I guess with that golem here, I don't have to worry about this top part being spawn proof, which is nice. So over here, the leaves are between the pillars here. If I silence the zombie, I guess that changes his name from Scary Steve. But if I silenced him, he would still scare the villagers, right? Actually, that's going to be a pipe, isn't it? So we need to make sure that this is spawn proof. And we also need another pipe in here. That seems a little boring. So maybe this is the one that'll stay where it is. Uh, Turing, thanks very much for the info. Appreciate it. They would stay scared. I think I'll, I'll keep them as scary, Steve. You can't hear them from down here anyway. Joel, not sure if you remember, I was having server issues with crashes since the sock bite migration. It turns out one of our players left a carpet duper running. Ah, so it wasn't shock bite at all. Glad you got to the source of it. That would have been a real pain to try and track down. So the glass will not spawn anything, so we're good there. All right, let's look at this and decide how we want one, two, three, four, five. Is it five? One, two, three, four. Oh, I see. I started to weasel them around. It's only two in the top of the bottom. I, the middle one is not supposed to be there. Yeah, that's not supposed to be there. My mistake. We might bend it to this level, but for now, we'll do this. That seems cooler, yeah, okay. So maybe what we'll do is we'll take 
I guess that bottom one can just do what it's supposed to do. The bottom one here bent up. We could do the same thing, although I don't want to do a mirror. So I guess we'll take this one maybe and bend it down. And I guess the spot to bend it down is going to be right out there. Hey, there's a Cosmic Dancer. How's it going? Did I forget to press send on the Discord announcement? Yes, I did. My bad. I was down to the wire today. I hung all the new sound panels in the studio today, and I finished with about 20 minutes left to have lunch and get going. So you're right. I did forget. I can fix that. I was reading the um, snapshot notes as well. Um, I feel like some of the adjustments made sense. I, I don't think they're fixing bundles by any stretch, but I feel like the um, the other things that they were doing seemed to make sense. So let's rough out a little bit of this too. So if this was to be some sort of mossy thing, I feel like we'd have to have some sort of source. I don't want to hide the light. Don't know if that's going to look good, but that does spawn proof the pipe. I think that's okay. We could we could maybe get away with a little bit more. This is where we could maybe even change the block underneath it. Like I could change that to something greener maybe? No, I'm not sick of it at all. I'm rather enjoying the project. Rather enjoying it. I think that's a good idea. I think we just need to, to tweak that a little bit, make it look nicer. So if that goes down like that, then that stays there. And then we'll take this, this one here and we'll bring it down mid. So just not on that one. So maybe we'll go second from the end here yeah yeah i can understand how people sometimes get a little burnt out on projects but like it's only been a couple of streams. Let's 
So this one right here. And that will come down to this level. sense. It's a much larger pipe to spawn proof though, it's the only thing. So that's got the trap door on it, and then we just have to hit the rest of these. No, oh. Oh no, I, I like redstone. I like doing farms and all that stuff. Yeah, and then we can bring this so maybe over here a little bit. Maybe not in a straight line like that, though. Getting there a little bit. Where'd my carrots go? So I like that. That's a little bit tall. So then the top one over here comes down. This one goes to the middle. I feel like maybe that's what we'll do with this one. Did I change the way that they... No, I didn't change any of the origin points. Right, okay. I mean, I could do that. This just feels a little bit more interesting. There's less open space of the trapdoors. I feel like we could maybe do a little zigzag there. Although, I guess that would have to be way out here. 
Hmm. Another question is, do I want to take any of those out farther? I feel like we could wrap that around, although that might not be the best. Just feels very empty. And this feels very straight. The business in the front and party in the back. This is one thing I really don't mind the um, free cam mod for. I, th I think it's really nice to give like seasoned players the ability to look around these vertical builds. All right, well, let's change the thing that I want to change, which was this block right here. And we'll do this at the top. It's a little, a little boring. Maybe we'll have to um, add more leaf blocks to that. That works a bit, helps it look a little bit less dull. For now, we will just uh, cover it like that. I think that's okay. So that's covered by trapdoor. That's covered by trapdoors. That's covered by trapdoors. Uh, I need moss back in there somewhere. Actually, this one here could probably be a leaf block. Oh, that surprisingly does not look that good. Wonder what would happen if I used... Here we go, let's do that. That's better. Yeah, I haven't gotten there yet. I think so.
Yeah, I think that works. It feels very boring. I feel like I might have to try and... I'm not sure. I need to get some more variety of leaf blocks, maybe. Like, maybe you need to come up here with some jungle leaves or some other kind of leaf. What would be good in the daylight? I don't want to do flowering azalea. Mangrove. Jungle I usually like to pair with this stuff. Birch, and that would be too dark. Acacia can sometimes go. That feels like darker. They all seem darker. Yeah, I'd say the jungle is probably the best way to go. I usually use jungle as a shadowy version of Azalea. Yeah, I think the mangroves are just a little bit too dark. The jungle has the little berries in it, and it sort of matches the azalea pretty well. I think they're just too dark in this biome. I think that's the issue. Yeah, what biome are we in? Windswept hills. Yeah, they're not as green as they normally are. This might not look good at all. I think maybe I'll just use it on the ones that are on the inside inside. So like in there. So very sparingly. Your youngest axinim calls them mango grove. <laughs> they should have mangoes in Minecraft. I think that would make sense. Yeah, it's uh it's subtle. I don't know if I like it all that much. I think it, there's really only a couple specific spots where I think it looks good.
probably that third trapdoor. Uh, maybe I should bring that the other way. Oh. That would be a problem. Uh, Loki, yeah, there's no links from anybody but mods in chat. Just keeps things a little bit easier to track. Do you use anything for palettes, like colors? No, um, you're fairly new to the community. I'm not sure if you realize. I've, um, I've got a lot of experience as an artist. I worked as an illustrator and cartoonist for 20 years. So I've got the color theory in my brain. I use concept art sometimes for inspiration and then I'll, I'll pull a palette from that. But like, if I just need a palette for myself, I just, I come up with it. So I still feel like the front of this is a little on the dull side. So I'd like to try and figure out what we can do. And I might bridge that gap with a trapdoor. I think I was going to look at doing trapdoors on the hinges, but I feel like that might be overkill. Yeah, I think it makes it overly complex when it doesn't need to be. But these front parts, maybe, hmm. Maybe I can trapdoor over the log. We just add a little bit more depth over this way. Maybe on the top part instead. Yeah, I think crossing the, the line here helps a little bit. And then we could use some vines to maybe help get some of this foliage around as well. I was thinking about using vines here to help soften up some of the edges of these bushes too. Oh, they don't look good in the biome. That sucks. So much for that. I should have been tipped off by the jungle. That's right. Dude, those won't look good. Shoot. All right, well, so much for that idea. Maybe we can just use the bush to go right across. I 
I think that's okay. We're definitely limited by the green colors in the biome. I wish... Sometimes I wish that wasn't a thing, or I wish that it affected less blocks. So we'll probably do the same thing on the other side as well. A little bit of symmetry never hurt anyone. To remember to wax the trap door too. Now, do we do anything at the top? One of the things I was playing around with was creating a um, like a copper cap to the whole thing where this whole section was copper, but it really didn't look that good. So I don't know what else we could do. I guess we could bring the top one along. I feel like these two make, make, make the most sense though. Uh, vines over the leaf blocks? No, they're gonna have the same same issue. They're gonna be a different color. Right. And just, I mean, it might help it blend in with the jungle a little bit. But no, it's it's not a lighter, darker thing. It's a hue shift, and hue shifts are things I am not a fan of. That would be the thing, I, I guess. If the leaves changed their their tone and not their hue in different biomes, I would be more okay with it. So I don't know whether I want to go across there or whether I want to do them both. I guess we'll try one and see what we th see what we think. I guess that looks okay. It looks like this comes down and over and then this goes up and over. That's not bad. That's not terrible. Imagine waxing leaves so they keep their color in different biomes. That's a cool idea. It definitely keeps with the game mechanic. Did I forget to put the water back? I think I forgot to put the water back. Survey says... Yes. Glad I noticed that.
Not that it matters, but for completionist's sake, I'm going to do that. I think it'll just make any future maintenance that might need to happen a little bit easier. Can you wax in your inventory? How? Oh, the crafting interface? Okay, cool. I didn't realize that. Well, that helps. So the other option, because I need to figure out how to make the front of this look a lot better too. Maybe the solution on the front is to have these two middle pieces come out because we have enough space to do that here. So maybe on the front, what I could do is take your advice and do that. trick of course then is that we have to spawn proof all that right and if I did this one and then we did this bottom one I think that would help have it be less problematic and then that's already there so we could do probably a leaf block Just keep it simple and then we can put a leaf block maybe underneath everything. No, oh. Well, I should probably come down and get some extra slabs anyway whoa that was not the carrot thanks for the heads up Dan appreciate it what Oh, interesting. So here, what we might want to do, if I do this, what we can do inside, that's glass. You really can't see through that anyway. I like the way that looks, but what I would do with that is put the trapdoor on the other side. And maybe we'll do this, do the same thing here for consistency. I think that might be one of the first times it's rained all stream and I will take that as a chance to go on my break for folks that are new to the stream. I take a break once an hour. It gives me a chance to refresh my coffee, grab a glass of water, all that stuff. You can grab a friend and let them know that we're streaming. I'm always trying to grow the channel. I'll be back in about five or six minutes.
It's so hard to see what you're doing from below with that ugly sandstone platform that we need up there to work. But I think that's the vibe I'm going for. I think there might be too many bushes right there, but I'm also hiding a lot of the orange with the scaffolding. So once we get that sorted, it should look okay. But I think, I think this is going the way that I want. And I think, what did I say? We're going to do the bottom one over here. Yeah. Then same thing, we'll have to do a bush, but I don't want to copy exactly what we did. Maybe we'll go all the way around. That's probably going to look okay. Yeah, I was really hoping to put like vines and stuff on these, but I guess we could try to let it oxidize a bit and see what that looks like. Mix screw gun, how's it going? You've missed all of the falls today. Still feel like it needs something on the top left, but that's probably just going to be more bushes. See, like even here, we could fake this a bit and get rid of that and put in like a moss block. Very uh, one block at a time here. Hmm. Oops.
maybe we'll actually switch this around. I got it right the first time. Yeah, it's all right. You're out late playing D&D. Nice. I think we were talking on stream the other day about that. Well, I'm not saying the front is finished, but I'm saying that's a good, a good start at it. Where I'm really drawing a blank is what to do with the top. I'm really not sure what to do with the top. I think once we have some more leaves underneath the front here, it will make a lot more sense. Are we done with this side? I guess the top corner here could use some love too, couldn't it? Uh, hmm, where do I want to put the bushes up here? Everything's good, but the block I'm standing on. I think I need to take it out to the corner. Actually, you know, we could probably get away with this. Hmm, maybe not. Maybe we cannot get away with that. You play with teachers and they don't have to be up by 6 a.m. Ah, <laughs> not in the summertime they don't. That's for sure.
kind of too even. I think we're getting there. It might be time to take some of that scaffolding down and see what's left. And see if we've left a little bit undone or unbalanced. I know we've not done anything over here. I think that's pretty good. Got to remember that I want to have other stuff underneath here too. So there's going to be more of this. And I think what I'll do while I'm up here actually. So in here, we could add some light. So I'm going to grab some glow berries. Which are somewhere here. Where did I put those? There they are. Need a few more. So glowberries and potentially shroom lights or copper bulbs. Which could also do verdant frog lights as well. I don't have any copper bulbs. Remember the whole recipe? I 
three redstone. Oh, yeah, right. That ender chest was empty for a heartbeat. I was like, what is going on? Did I let that thing oxidize at all? It just hasn't yet. I think I let that one be unwaxed. So back here, I kind of did like a little proof of concept. And one of the things I thought I would try to do, which would be a really good opportunity to do it right now because we've got that golem wandering around up here that's keeping everything from spawning is removing this green tube and replacing it with foliage like this. So one idea I had was, um, we'll do this from the front, I guess, was to come in here and maybe even do something dense like that, right up against that. And then we could have Foliage like that. But then somewhere up in here, this might be too bright. Whereas one of these might be a little bit nicer. Smart Joel has buttons. But I'm, my money is on the glow berries being what works out to be the best. Especially because I could actually hide them back here. I feel like that's probably the best. I was going to use vines, but again, we just, they won't look very good. I will wait at night before I make the final call, but I don't mind the shroom light. I might want to put it a little bit higher. Especially if I can put maybe something over the bottom of it and then just have the sides visible. Unfortunately, you can't hang glowberries from um, from vine or from leaf blocks. So if I had that and we removed the green pillar, what do we think? 
There's probably only one way to find out. Thoughts from the from the chat. Again, it's very hard with this ugly thing around it. Maybe I'll remove the the three sides here, or at least these two. I think we're good. The glow berries are a little bit distracting. Right, while we're waiting for night to fall, let's remove the front and and right side of the platform. This is always a really fulfilling part of any high build when you get rid of all the scaffolding and you finally get a chance to see what it looks like without having to imagine what it'll look like without all, without all of your like scaffolding and supportive blocks and all that stuff. Now we gotta collect it all. Situations like that that I think an end game block magnet or something would be very cool. I know that you've got them in modded Minecraft, but I feel like that could be some welcome end game vanilla enchantments or abilities or something. Oh, we've got them all over, don't we? I got those ones. I was not expecting to. So it definitely looks good without the... Um, the scaffolding. I think. Hmm. If I remove this green pillar in the middle, we might have to make this a little bit bigger. Bring the whole thing down by a couple blocks. And I don't mind the shroom light. I mean, the shroom light and the glowberries give off roughly the same amount of light, I think. Yeah, I don't mind that. Tucked away in there, it's not bad. Well, like I said, one way to try this out. And that is going to be to do it on two sides. So we'll come in here. So I had the shroom light, I think, tucked up higher. Hmm. 
Maybe we'll just do one back here. Right, tighter space back here too. The legs are a lot closer. So we can actually have like a, just a little bit peeking out. Although if we do it back there, I can't cover it up. So maybe we'll do it this way. Do I not get those back? I guess you don't. Oh, there's not self-touch. Oh no, not what I wanted to do. Should be fine. No problems. That's why we've not decorated anything down there. Well, fell off that time. I didn't look at the verdant fraud logs, but I think I like the gold. Uh, oh no, we're high enough to get snow? That sucks. That's not what I want. I never thought about that. I guess we'll have to put blocks in the whole thing. I don't think I'd want snow on this. That's something that we could use in this game is blue leaves something that looks frozen you know if there was if there was um something yeah i know i know string block snow it's just ugly and looks stupid i'm not brand new So if I was going to put berries, I would probably put them on this one. And then maybe low down here. All right, let's see what that looks like. I missed the landing. Yeah, I've, I've played a bit. Not to say that I'm all knowledgeable. For example, Johnny knows a lot more about the game than I do. Right, so I could probably use some crossover there, and that's fine. It's more about testing out the mechanics. 
which I think what I'll do while I'm down here is we'll cap off the lava pit for now. So let's just put something like this here. So no person nor goody is going to fall down there by accident. I am going to take a screenshot. I don't really feel like there's a way to test this without just completely tearing it out and seeing what it's like. Which is going to take a while. Oh crap, especially if I keep on doing that. Hunter triple five, hello. A fern for what, Calico, to block the snow? I'm not sure what I'm going to do for a roof or a top. I shouldn't say roof. Glass breaking is not my favorite sound in Minecraft. I might not have the inventory space for this. That sucks. It is slow. I agree. I also find when you're tearing stuff down like this, there's not a lot to like discuss, you know? But it's the same thing when you're building it, it's very repetitive to build too. I don't even think we're halfway. And I need to change some inventory stuff here. Not using those, not using those. Uh, I'll leave one button, but I don't need all of them. I was using those either. I'm glad I'm doing this at night because this is when I want to see what it looks like. nothing lighting up the middle section here so I might have to figure out what to do down this far maybe we'll have some berries or something or maybe I'll put some lights inside the pillars I'm still not sure what I'm doing inside the pillars still have some a b testing I think to do I was hoping to light them up but I don't know 
the lights will actually travel all that far. Right. Probably way more than halfway. I also need to double check that this is going to function. I don't want the golems. Hmm. It does look a little empty, doesn't it? All right, well, I'm this far. So we'll take it all out. Just don't get blown up. No, we should be fine. Debogged, hello, hello, welcome in. I do want to see what it looks like in the daytime as well. I've got a funny feeling, unfortunately, it's going to look better with the green. Then I have to decide, do I want it to be green the whole way up? Do I want to do some sort of gradient? Gradient would be cool. Chief Blazes, hello, welcome in. The green and the copper does look good too, so we'll see. This is what it looks like completely gone, minus the little nub at the bottom. I think if we replace the green that we just took out with green going up the columns, it could be okay. I'm also curious what orange going up the columns would look like too. Oh, let's sleep. So we'll see what it looks like in the daytime. I'll take a look at that screenshot. A little bit higher. Around there, maybe. Wow, good guess. <laughs> That's not bad. That's not bad as a guess. Uh, let's go with... All right, so that is currently without the green drop shoot, and that's with. Wow, I can't believe I guessed that right. That, that's a pretty good overlay. <laughs> that's total freehand and blind luck. I might like it better with. I, I think we keep the green kind of hanging down vines and stuff. But I think I like it better with. What do we think, chat? Vote in chat. With the shoot or without the shoot? While we're going back and forth on that. Uh... 
So once again, without, with, without, with. Uh, I'm gonna try some different stuff on the columns while you're all debating. As a trained artist, you are likely looking at something with particular view in mind. So when you go back out, it's likely the same spot. Yeah, that makes sense. Still, to have it overlay that well on camera, I think, is a little bit tricky. All right, let's get rid of this. There's green glass in the middle here. What I want to see is what orange glass might look like. Hmm, I think I prefer the green glass. It is being lit from below. There's a shroom light down there. So the question here is, does a green pane look better? Width looks better. Width. Um, two votes width, that's it. Four votes width, okay. I mean, it's not so much voting, it's just more like hearing what people have to say. I think I like the panes better. They give better depth. You know, that compared to that. And certainly like the green, the green panes. McScrewgun is without. I guess the question that we have to figure out is like, when we get to here, like, what do we do about the glass? Like, do we just stop it? I might have to rethink the way that this thing is supported. I guess we could bring them all the way up here, but then they're gonna connect really funny when you get to those parts. We could put like a tr dark oak trap door there maybe. Gabby, hello. Well, I definitely like the green glass panes. And I guess we would just continue those. Like I don't see any real need to do anything more. It's a lot of glass panes, but that's fine. 
it does look weird with nothing in them like it, it needs some sort of some sort of thing to tie it together i don't think we need any kind of cross brace like i don't think i need anything like about i was thinking like maybe about two-thirds of the way up maybe we could have like something across there and i could hide another light in there maybe or i could also just put a light kind of in the middle here Maybe the thing to do is going to be to have a little bit of these glow berries come down inside the tube because I'm pretty sure the glass panes will not connect to a bush block. No, right? So we could do a little bit of that too. Uh, the style I'm aiming for is kind of the style of the meadows, which is a lot of our community farms kind of had concrete and glass because we started this world around the same time that 1.12 came out. So the nether wart farm, the um, pumpkin farm, and where's the sugarcane? Sugarcane farm is a really good example too because it's got like these log flumes that come out. These are like seven-year-old builds, like very my very first attempt at doing farms in Minecraft. So we're kind of going for a mix of that, but then also I really like what I did with the moss farm. And we're kind of taking that color scheme and making it a little bit different. Yeah, I think I might have to, I might have to put it back. Well, first, I, before I do that, one thing I should do is I should test it to see if it actually works. Because if it doesn't function, like if the golems get spat out somewhere else, then we can't, it's not an option. I have to put it back, right? So what I'll do is I'll get rid of this. And then I'll go open it up at the top by getting rid of that other golem. He's around here somewhere. And then I just have to get rid of some of this. So the golem should spawn. The question is, when he goes over the edge here, is there a chance that he's going to hit the edge there? Right? That's the trick. So far, so good. Where did that other golem go? Oh, here he is. See if it looks cool when they are spat out. I don't know if it looks cooler with the shoot or without the shoot. I'm a little nervous standing around watching this at night, so I'm going to sleep. Well, that's three, and we've had no other casualties. So at least I think it seems to work. It's 
seeing them fall is funny. Well, you can see them fall before. So that's four. I'm not sure what the answer is. If I get six, am I convinced? It does feel a little disconnected somehow, which is surprising. I mean, I say that we have the option. It does not appear that the golems drift when they go over the edge in their little two by two hole up the top. I think they stay pretty much straight. And even if they did, go outside of it, it wouldn't break the farm because anything that they could land on at the bottom is so far outside of the villager detection range. So the white box on the inside is the spawning radius for the golems. And then the gray box on the outside is where the villagers are looking for a golem to still be before they spawn a new one. So if the golems missed at the bottom and they landed, they would be landing outside of it. The downside is that we'd literally, you know, be littering the the countryside with um, with iron golems if it was something that happened frequently. But that's at least six that have gone correctly. And there's that one wandering around that we knocked off the platform, but that's it. All right. Well, at least we know it's working. So I have the option. I feel like I've got glass panes just kicking around. I want to take one of these up to the top just to kind of see. Although, you know what? That might have to be next time. I feel like the final decision will be if I put the green glass in these columns, will that be enough green to kind of substitute the loss of the green in the middle? So I think I need to sit on this. So I think the best thing to do is going to be to wrap it up for today. I'll pass you along to somebody else playing Minecraft. We've got, I haven't seen tadpole milk online in ages. Uh, let's raid Scotsman UK, member of this community, fantastic builder, usually up to some very cool stuff in Minecraft. I'm sure you will have a good time. I will be back again tomorrow. That's Thursday. Tomorrow's Thursday. Yeah, tomorrow's Thursday. And uh, that'll be one o'clock Atlantic UTC minus four hours. That is not good. When did that happen? Did anybody notice that? I don't know whether he got caught or whether another one spawned somewhere. I don't remember seeing a second one wandering around today. Completely distracted. All right, I've got a few things to puzzle out here. If you would like to follow on social media, you can check me out at Joel Duggan. I'm across all the platforms at the same name. Instagram and X are my two popular ones. Um, I post more often to Instagram, really. X is just straight up when I'm live, when I'm not live, that kind of stuff. You can follow the Spawn Chunks podcast every Monday. We have a brand new episode out right now. I can't believe I didn't mention that yet today, but we have a full, like it's nearly two hours uh, talking about the new snapshot. First new snapshot of Minecraft 1.21 with changes to minecarts, redstone, and bundles with another snapshot that came out today that we'll have a chance to talk about next week on the show. So if you like Minecraft and you like podcasts, then I suggest you check out the Spun Chunks wherever you listen to your favorite podcasts, or you can just watch it on YouTube because it is a video show now. 
The Citadel Cafe is hopefully recording soon. The latest episode out right now is about uh, Deadpool and Wolverine. Had a really good time talking about that. And looking forward to season two of Rings of Power on Prime. And I think Johnny from Spongebob might come on Citadel Cafe and talk to me about that as well. So we will see you all tomorrow. Uh, in the meantime, check out patreon.com slash Joel Duggan if you'd like to support the stream. I really appreciate all of you. Thanks so much. Bye for now.